experience. So this domain of ecstatic experience is on the whole not very much explored um, by psychology or by psychiatry. On the whole, it's rather ignored. Um, and when psychologists and psychiatrists do talk about this domain of experience, they aren't really sure what to call it. So there are various different types of terminology. Um, you might call it, uh, some, some people might call it mystical experiences or self-transcendent. Maslow talked about peak experiences. I prefer the term ecstatic experience. You also see um, altered states of consciousness used as a term. Anthropologists prefer to talk about trance states or possession experiences. Um, in the world of kind of corporate coaching, they prefer to talk about flow states, which is a kind of uh, slightly less wild form of ecstatic experience, uh, spirit possession. And then psychiatrists might pathologize some of these experiences and talk more in terms of psychosis or schizophrenia or bipolar disorder. So these all are kind of uh, exploring an overlapping domain of human experience. Now in my um, book, The Art of Losing Control, I use the term ecstasy. I prefer the, the term ecstatic experience, which comes from the ancient Greek ecstasis, which literally means standing outside. An ecstatic experience is a moment when you stand outside your ordinary sense of self uh, and something uh, powerful goes into you, feel a deep connection to something uh, greater than you. Um, and that experience can be both euphoric or, you know, we, conventionally we think of ecstatic as meaning very happy. That kind of experience can be euphoric, but it can also be uh, terrifying. You're, you're losing control and surrendering to something much more powerful than you. Um, an ecstatic experience can happen alone or with others. You can have a collective ecstatic experience and it can be interpreted in many different ways. An ecstatic experience can be interpreted as a connection to God, to universal consciousness, to a spirit or a demon, to nature, to aliens, uh, to another person or group of people, to a nation or to your own higher self. In other words, People interpret uh, ecstatic experiences not just as supernatural or theistic experiences.